Good morning, everyone. I guess we didn't get it before, but you don't want one. It was bad. <laughs> My yarn cabinet was right here, which is fine, but this table was covered in kids' toys and crafts. So I've been cleaning. I've been taking all the baby toys up. We're gonna put a whole bunch of stuff out to see if the neighbors want it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to try to donate or put them out for free. But Danny says he needs like all of the space. I don't know what he's gonna do with his drums. But yeah, that's my status. I need to try to clean this table. Yikes. I was just yawning when I was turning this on, so yeah. <sighs> what do I need to say? Obviously, got the area cleaned. It's a lot smaller than he was making it seem. He's like, I need all this space. And yeah, it's longish, but calm down, it was okay. But it felt good too let go of things that were more toddler and Sebastian got a bit of an experience with how nice it feels to make somebody happy giving things away he's constantly like getting stuff because I'm so into reusing 
So I love to thrift. I love to get free things from the neighbors. And I hope people don't think, oh, she's always taking things. <laughs> she's so greedy. I try to give back too, as I did today. But it's because I like to reuse. We don't always need new products out in the world. Things can be reused a lot. So he often benefits from that. And it's like, it's the best day ever. Well, he got to give his little drum set to a neighbor friend who said it was the best day ever. And he kept just going on telling me again and again about how happy his friend was and how it was because he gave him the drum. So I love that he felt that feeling and I hope that makes him remember that it's nice to be generous. So yeah, I mean, I think he could have still fit the drums. His friend's a little bit taller. We, They actually got it for his little brother. He's like four which would be perfect. <laughs> the boy who's one year older than Sebastian was loving it. They were having a band. But Danny has a real drum set down there. And I was like, you know, maybe your dad can give you lessons on his. We don't need two drum sets right here. Danny wants to have a little workout area. He's gonna move the weights he got from a friend over there too. So. Is my not vacuumed rug. I don't think I vacuumed the hall since Halloween. Oops. But yeah, it looks like the table went to somebody across the street because I saw on the camera they were carrying it. We were actually out to lunch. I didn't eat any breakfast. I just made tea and then started cleaning. And I started like around nine. 30 and it's 12:30 or 12ish. My stomach hurt so bad and it was the feeling I got after I had vomited all the apples up when I got really sick from eating apples. I didn't I thought my stomach was still sick after that, but actually I was just starving. <laughs> and now I recognize that feeling like at the time I suffered for like an hour or two not understanding and as soon as I it's like maybe this is hunger and I started sipping water it like instantly it was better so I got those starving pains I'm like I hadn't even noticed I was hungry honestly I was just getting things done I don't know what he's doing <laughs> using my soap he did ask permission so yeah we went out to a smoothie shop to get wraps and smoothies it just sounded good Sebastian had mentioned smoothies I got it in my brain <laughs> So yeah, Jackson, I got peanut butter, banana, granola, honey wraps. They're delicious. And Sebastian chose a breakfast burrito that Jacks also had his eye on. So he benefited because Sebastian only ate half of it. It wasn't a kid's wrap. And Jacks ate the other half. Win-win. Everybody ate their food and drank their smoothies. Nothing was wasted. I like it. But yeah, I got a comment on my Facebook post, somebody really interested in the table and chairs, but they couldn't get there till six. Could I hold it for them? And they would absolutely get it done. I was like, I'd love to, we're out at lunch. So if it's still there, I will pull it in. But yeah, we're not home right now. So I can't do anything about it. And not five minutes later, I go to check the camera to see how the things are doing and somebody walks over and get, picks it up. But it was a neighbor, so it's all good. And he was so nice. I had a sign taped to the table that said everything is free. And he very carefully took the sign off and placed it on a chair. And before he walked away, he realized he was leaving a different item, like kind of out in the middle when everything else was up a step because all the front stuff had been taken and he stopped and he put it up with the other stuff. I'm like, oh, you're, you're a good guy. So, somebody's enjoying a table just down on the same street. <laughs> and a couple who was walking dogs while we were out there like setting up, while we were at lunch, I saw them come back with their dogs. And the lady handed over the dogs and paused and put some stuff in the little barn. This is a barn that I painted for Jax when he was a toddler. It was a Santa gift. I actually got a $4 unfinished, like Melissa and Doug dollhouse 
very open side. It just looked barn like to me and it was only $4. It might have had like some marker colored on it. But I did this whole renovation, painting it like a barn, the, the loft area. I, I put actual hay and shellac over it. So it was really cool. He got those and some nice wooden animals. I only found the cow, they got the cow. The other animals are somewhere around the house. I don't know, but I gathered together everything barn-like. There was like a horse trailer with horses. And yeah, she put a bunch of stuff into the barn and then switched places with the man and he picked it up and they walked away. I'm like, yes, you would think I'd be sad, but no, I didn't want to have to like, just donate it to the thrift store or something because I put so much love into it. I wanted it to go to, no, it was going to somebody. I don't know if their parents or grandparents, I couldn't see close enough, but it's going to somebody that makes me so happy. Oh, that one's like, phew, I don't want that one to go to a dump or a thrift store and get broken or forgotten. I just wanted it to get that one loved. So yeah, those were the, oh, the basketball basketball went super fast first thing right away somebody came and got it for their nephew yeah the big things all went I was very happy about that some random puzzle trucks disappeared but not all of them I'm like why not take all of them and even more there's three emergency vehicles from the set and three construction and now we have one construction left it's like why why not take all three but whatever <laughs> they're just going in our donation box for a pickup probably but yeah, that went all well. It was very straightforward. The hardest thing was getting Danny's old rock band drum kit moved into the storage room because the stand just starts falling apart the second I move it. I'm like, how is this not screwed together? What is going on? So I just, I couldn't let it fall apart because there was cable zip tied together. I was just lugging two sides of this heavy frame just like leaning up against something in there. I couldn't get the tube to go back into the thing and it's just whatever. Yeah, uh, we came home after I finished vacuuming and stuff down there. I've done a lot of cleaning off and on every time I go through other rooms. It was just so bad. <laughs> Sorting through toys. Sebastian wants to keep all the wooden blocks. I was gonna donate those. So I cleaned up the bin. Then was trying to do more crochet because apparently the yarn I got for Sebastian's blanket is going to ship now. I got a shipping notice, but the status just says that FedEx is waiting for the package. So who knows how fast it'll get here, if it'll get here in time for me to actually make a blanket before Christmas. I don't know. But I want to get the donation one done in ASAP. So if it does come, I can start on that. I think that's everything. I think I kept it under 10 minutes. Yeah. I ordered some dinner. It was missing the side of rice that I got for myself. I can't complain to DoorDash because I get a message that we seem to complain a lot. We need an agent to do this. So I either have to call or get on their blacklist even more. So I was like, whatever, I just lose this $2, whatever. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry that you always forget my food. But yeah, I had a bath and then the guys got here with the bike and they, they're just trying to set it up now. So I'm gonna go wash his hair and get him to bed. And that's, that's my day. I don't know, I'm exhausted. I'm always tired. I never rested well. I don't know what it is. I never seem to sleep well. I was just crampy last night, so that's fun. My 10 days of feeling nice in between my period and when it PMS starts is over. <laughs> On that note, good night, stay safe. Be kind and don't forget, wash your hands.